Here we're going to show you how to replace a thin client and how easy it is. On the right we have an operating working thin client and we'll pretend it has failed. On the left we have a new thin client and we will showcase the steps it takes to replace a thin client. Now that it has failed we are going to move all the peripherals from the old to the new, video, keyboard, mouse, ethernet, and power. A new thin client booting up will need new configuration, mainly the IP addresses of itself and servers, and the identity, which we'll cover later. In these settings, we're going to need to know the IP address of the new unit. Typically it'll be the IP address of the previous unit and we'll need to know the IP address of the primary and secondary server if present. The administrator should have these IP addresses documented for others to be able to fill in at odd hours of the night. So we'll fill in the IP address for the terminal in the a slot. Then we'll set the primary server in the B parameter. We won't fill in the secondary as we don't have one for this example. All the other settings we can skip and move on. So we'll hit the S to save. Okay, now that it is booted, on the first time, Thin Manager is going to give it all the available Thin clients that it could become. This act happens one time, and we'll set it to the station the previous Thin client was. And it could warn you that one Thin client's make model is being replaced by a very different make and model. So we'll say yes. I know I'm replacing the make and model drastically, and it will now grab the configuration the previous thing client had. It will run the same applications with the same rules, and replacement is complete.